you're not always going to get things right the first time. Hi, I'm Vikram. We are back here today with Dan talking about uh, best practices to adopt uh, while implementing API-led integration projects with MuleSoft. Uh, in the previous episode, we spoke about while you are looking at adopting API economy to give your business competitive advantage, how do you actually get started? And we briefly touched upon uh, one of the things to do is to pick up the right project which delivers a business service rather than just the APIs. Uh, today we're going to dig a bit deeper into that and talk more about uh, governance and reusability. So welcome back Dan. Hi again Vikram. Hi. Uh, we did speak about how do you get started and you spoke about uh, identifying the projects and domain and center for enablement. Um, how about governance and reusability setup for these big programs? Yeah, I think it's really important not just to dive into the technical delivery for a project as soon as you've identified a project that can deliver strong business value. Make sure you get good foundations in place before you get started. Um, you're not always going to get things right the first time, but what you can do is put a really good foundation uh, and framework in place to enable you for success. Um, and where you get things wrong, it put the framework in place that allows you to adapt and adjust uh, and make it successful with minimal effort off the back of that. Um, when we talk about getting started, we're also talking about business enablement as well as the technical delivery side as well. So it's really important to consider both those points. Okay, so uh, how business enablement is quite, quite key. So how do you, what do you set up as a governance framework in, from the business side of things? So we've, we've got a number of examples working with existing customers um, and also with software vendors as well. So okay. we, we do a lot, of, uh, a lot of integration projects and API programs with MuleSoft uh, as a technology provider, um, but also as a consulting arm as well. Um, they bring real value to the table in terms of enablement of, in of their customers um, and support in training as well. Getting that right enablement in place uh, across an organisation is key uh, in driving good collaboration, good awareness and also promotion of those APIs which are ultimately being built. We talked a lot in the last session about reusability of capability through APIs. Organisations are only going to be aware of what is there to reuse if the right framework is in place to promote what that capability is. Right, so you mentioned about communicating well. <coughs> and there seems to be a very common challenge among businesses where you have your project delivery team, particularly the technical development team, who are very passionate about building things. How do you uh, onboard them? And how do you communicate the governance uh, basics, if you like? Yeah. Uh, from a delivery point of view, again, there's some important things that need to be put in place from the outset of a program uh, which involves APIs and an API-led program. Um, it's really important to make sure that you do have the right culture within the delivery team to onboard developers, have development standards defined at the outset um, so that people are building and developing in a common way. Uh, define naming conventions for your APIs. Um, I think it's really, really important that uh, APIs are clearly named and understood as well. Make sure they're well documented uh, when they're available through Exchange. The business is only going to be aware of what capability they provide if they're well named in a consistent way uh, and well documented as well. Um, have standards in place for things like logging and auditing, uh, create templates for those so that you can get started quicker on projects. Um, and also create automation around your build and deployment process. Um, you, you want to minimise uh, the likelihood of errors creeping in as you move through different environments, but also you want to accelerate the whole process um, through automation. So on automation and let's say our uh, automated deployments. Um, a lot of uh, programs always think about that and consider those after they've delivered a few streams of projects. Are you saying it should be done at the governance level? I think it's really, really important to get that in place at the outset of any project. Um, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter how small a project is, but it's really 
key to get those building blocks in place to make something successful and to be able to scale it. Um, we always do that at the outset with our customers. Um, MuleSoft will also work in partnership with us when we engage with customers to make sure that those building blocks are in place. We have engaged with customers who are further down their own journey um, and we've seen the pain that they have faced um, in terms of not putting those appropriate steps in place at the outset uh, of a large program of that type. Um, debugging issues becomes very complex, uh, they take longer to resolve, um, people develop in different ways, there's a lack of consistency. Um, and it causes bigger problems down the line than anyone could imagine at the outset. And uh, tell us a bit more about reusability. Uh, why is it important? What does it mean? Yeah, I think we touched on this in the last session. Um, you know, it's very important, as we said previously, to move away from point-to-point -point integrations, create more of a reusable application network. And MuleSoft gives you the perfect platform to be able to leverage that capability. As we said previously, um, businesses want capability faster uh, and for less cost and less effort. Um, MuleSoft is a platform which allows you to create a reusable network of APIs um, so that development in addition to what you already have is much less and you can get to market much faster. Okay, that's a good point. Okay, anything else you would like to add to no, I, mean, reusability? I, I think in addition to that, um, you know, having built all of this in a secure manner is also very, very important. Um, security is a big topic in its own right, but it should be closely linked to governance. Get it right at the outset, um, and for sure we can talk about that a lot more. You are absolutely right. We will be talking about scalability and security in our next few videos. Thank you, Dan. So folks, there we are. Governance and reusability up front is very important. You need to set up center of enablement and communicate that very well with your domain leaders. And you need to have a strategy of onboarding your development team uh, so that the governance is communicated and enforced uh, on the program uh, to come which includes things like naming convention and application networks. So thank you for joining us today. Next, we will talk about the importance and how to security on API-led integration projects. See you then.